Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In the last video, we discussed in details about the Rutherford's atomic model. In this video we will discuss about the Bohr atomic model in details. This video is a part of our course on engineering materials and material science. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here. We come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Danish physicist named Niel Bohr in 1913 proposed the Bohr atomic model. He modified the problems and limitations associated with Rutherford's model of an atom. Earlier in Rutherford model, Rutherford explained in an atom a nucleus is positively charged and is surrounded by electrons, negatively charged particles. But, he couldn't explain the stability of atom, and the proper arrangement of electrons in the orbits. Bohr gave the concept to overcome these limitations. So, what are the postulates of Bohr atomic model? Before talking about that, from Rutherford's atomic model, we know that electrons revolve around the nucleus in fixed orbits. And the nucleus is formed of neutrons, and protons. But from Rutherford's model didn't learn anything about the stability of atom, and the proper arrangement of electrons in the orbits. So, we will get this idea in Bohr atomic model. According to the postulates of Bohr atomic model, electrons revolve around the nucleus in a fixed circular path termed orbits or shells or energy level. Here, we can see the electrons in their fixed stationary orbits or shells or energy levels. The electrons will not radiate energy as long as they continue to revolve around the nucleus in the fixed orbital shells, as we can see here. Every circular orbit will have a certain amount of fixed energy. The different energy levels are denoted by integers such as n equals 1 or n equals 2 or n equals 3 and so on. These numbers or integers are called the quantum numbers. The different energy levels or orbits are represented in two ways such as 1, 2, 3, 4. OK, L, M, N. Shells. Change in energy occurs when the electrons jump from one energy level to other. Electron acquires required energy and moves from lower to upper energy level, as we can see over here. Electron loses energy and it moves from higher to lower energy level, as we can see down here. Thus, the first orbit, energy level is represented as k-shell and it can hold up to two electrons. The second orbit, energy level, is represented as l-shell and it can hold up to eight electrons. The third orbit, energy level, is represented as m-shell and it can contain up to 18 electrons. The fourth orbit, energy level, is represented as n-shell and it can contain maximum 32 electrons. The orbits continue to increase in a similar manner. So, we have learned in details about Bohr atomic model, along with the postulates that cover the limitations or drawbacks of Rutherford's atomic model. Thank you.